Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Sheffield lining up in what very much looks as though it's going to be a 5-3-2. Well, a reinforced rear guard, Peter, and a compact midfield probably suggests that they're focusing much on giving very little away. I think if you commit to that, then you really can't afford to concede because it clearly demands a quick change in approach if you do, which isn't always easy because in the build-up to this, believe me, they'll have been working principally on organisation and shape in training. And it's not easy just to suddenly come out of that. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I would say Christian Benteke, a striker with all the classic qualities to lead the line. As a finisher, too, he can call upon power and, and guile, which is a potent and, well, pretty deadly mix. Yes, he'd be my pick, too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. And it's been taken short. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Hoists it high. Going for goal! That's a half decent try. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Here's the delivery. Patrick Van Arnholt knocks it away. It's hoisted clear. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Andros Townsend tries to get it for... Can he put it away? He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. to meet it their attempt just the wrong outcome Maya did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again Long and direct. Well, they could break here. Now it's Zahar. Zahar plays it out to the flank. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Gets on the end of it. Maya. Forward it goes. Now it's Benteke. Forward it 
goes. Patrick van Arnholt. And it's Sahar. MacArthur plays it out to the wing. Van Arnholt. And that has been clubbed away. Milivojevic. And it's the whistle for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No effort at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. And it's shrinking half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil nil. Already up and running for the second half. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? It'll be a throw-in. Crystal Palace are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Boots it to safety. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Just starting to get the first signs of rain here. Keeper's got good distance on that. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Whipped in. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Sheffield. Can he score? He scored! Sheffield are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Now it's Batshuayi, plays a clever pass. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Who's going to get there? He's been bundled over. That is a foul. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Well, looks like he's picked up a bit of a knock from that challenge. Too much with that. Batshuayi. Out to the left it goes. Now it's Batshuayi. And Batshuayi! Danger averted for now. He's on his way. He's through. It's the shot's on. What about it? And surely that does it. Perfect time. Decisive strike. 
Oh, that was a cracking little exchange to set up the finish and a lovely understanding between both players. I mean, that's clearly tailored on the training ground and delivered beautifully on match day. Sheffield to get themselves a two-goal cushion. Townsend. Milivojevic. And it's Benteke. Andros Townsend looks to dink one in. Well read, he sorted that out. Crystal Palace look completely out of sorts when it comes to crucial moments, Peter. They've lost composure and that killer instinct. Battles to win it back. Played back in. Shakes the shoots! It goes to show he is human after all. Crystal Palace have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. So we have a double substitution going on here. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Kelly gets good distance on it. Aimed long and direct. Batshuayi looking to run onto it. Lovely bit of skill. Drills one in. Can he put it away? Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. Sheffield did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Sheffield can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job well done. They have a togetherness that makes them very hard to beat.